Well, the investigation into a deadly carjacking outside of a mosque in Upper Darby, it continues tonight. Family and friends are remembering the man who was killed right in front of his place of worship. Action News reporter Annie McCormick, she is live for us now in Upper Darby with details on the person police are now looking for. Annie. Yeah, and Shari, police say that this was not a hate crime, rather a crime of opportunity. And the victim, they say, who was carjacked and killed was there simply to pray. Tonight, Upper Darby police are looking for this man, who they say is a person of interest in the murder of 65-year-old Mahabu Rahman. The husband and father of three was shot and killed in a carjacking outside of a mosque in Upper Darby Sunday evening. He lived in Philadelphia, where he worked as a corrections officer. Very honest, very upright family, very kind, very, very, um, uh, He's a, he's a very, very nice man. The president of the Upper Darby Islamic Center grew emotional when talking about Rahman, who he has known for 25 years. I could not ask for a person better than him. Always a smile. Never see him sadness. It was around 7.45 p.m. when police say the victim was found with a gunshot wound to the chest in the parking lot outside the center along busy 69th Street. His car was later discovered in Cobbs Creek. Take a close look at the jeans and sneakers of the person of interest. The person who's responsible for this is a coward. A coward in every possible word that you could describe a coward being. He could have taken that car and left Mr. Rockman there. He didn't. He chose to take his life. Even though police say this was not a hate crime, extra security measures will still be put in place. To the con congregants, to the worshipers that they come here, the means of adding security measures and giving the, um, the community, the congregants, the worshipers, a sense of safety. And the head of the Islamic Center says that that will include better lighting, also more surveillance cameras. Additionally, Upper Darby police will also have a larger presence there. For now, reporting live in Upper Darby, Annie McCormick for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari. Yeah, very sad circumstances. Annie, thanks.